What's up guys? So in this video, I wanted to give you a rundown of how I'm using Obsidian to link together all of my notes. So just to uh, start this off, if I click on this note, for example, um, obviously the basic idea of Obsidian is that you can create notes and then form connections between them and kind of build your own like Wikipedia where every time you get some piece of knowledge or an idea or concept that you want to remember, you just add it to Obsidian. And then over time, you can start actually forming connections. So this is a note um, named Faith. And obviously, Faith is a very, very broad concept. And so there's a lot of stuff that I add inside of here. You can see I start every single note with the same, um, the, the same formatting. So this is called YAML. It's basically Y-M-A-L. I don't know, know what it stands for, but the, the idea is that you can create kind of meta, meta tags, meta attributes, and then categorize your notes. So for example, this note is a concept. That's what it's called in my database. And then underneath that, I also have this section uh, where I have related notes. So anytime I have something that's like related and I wanna keep it top of mind, I can just link it over here. Now inside of the text, um, obviously with Obsidian, you could create headlines and subheadlines and all of that. But the main thing I wanna show you is, for example, over here, you can see when I click on this note, then it goes to my note on doubt. And then the note on doubt is, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It relates to like control energy. So if I click on energy, then it goes to the energy note, right? So everything is kind of linked and it's also super fast. And uh, now another benefit of using this, this YAML text is that you can create a library. So thanks to the plugin data view, uh, which I'm actually gonna make a video on soon, you can create, for example, if I just go here, concepts, concept library. So what happens in data view is all of my notes that are related to this specific topic, I can then filter them by the date that they were created or by any other category or any other meta information that I have about them. And yeah, this is really like the, what makes Obsidian so powerful because you know, over time it starts to build together and then eventually it gets to the point where, you know, you have this amazing, this amazing graph of like all of your notes, everything that you've created, and you can start seeing the uh, the connections between all of it. So yeah, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you're interested in more Obsidian videos, then leave a comment below this because I really love this program and I want to share pretty much everything that I know about it with you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.